Okay, so this is a follow-up on uh, the previous video that we've done on this uh, uh, quadcopter. And uh, uh, in the previous video we, we have uh, highlighted a problem that uh, uh, we experienced with the takeoff and uh, the quadcopter tilting uh, backwards. It seems a bit better related, but uh, I've checked many times the uh, setup and I've checked many times the PWMs that uh, the uh, uh, flight controller reads from the transmitter. It all seemed to be uh, normal, um, but uh, uh, further, uh, we played many things. There have been many things suggested to us. We've moved the controller. As you can see, the controller is more central. There been some uh, uh, logic uh, behind it. So, uh, if you want to know what's the reasoning for this particular location please let me know and um, uh, uh, comment below um, we've also uh, tried to adjust the PIDs as uh, PIDs were highlighted as a possible problem in this case what I've actually done is uh, I've switched the uh, throttle channel uh, back to channel 3 uh, in the uh, firmware what we found is that um, once you switch in the advanced parameters the throttle and elevator channel uh, as in the number of the channels uh, this problem seems seems to happen either it's uh, one of the parameters or one of the var variables in uh, the setup uh, it seems to read the throttle channel uh, from the certain input no matter what so a couple of words about the actual um, quadcopter so what I actually have here is the LED module which we use and it's a 3 watt LED module so each one of them actually indicates a certain function well there's a couple of them that uh, are uh, doubling each other because actually you don't need more than three uh, so the top one is a GPS so whenever the GPS is locked the top one uh, is uh, not flushing. Uh, then there's a uh, motor armed, disarmed. Uh, what you also can see here, uh, this is basically a 3D uh, telemetry uh, module that uh, is connected to uh, the flight controller and uh, uh, you can see that the GPS mast is a bit shorter now that was caused by the previous crash. So you can still fold it backwards and uh, then put it in the bag. Well, you know that the arms are folding as well. So uh, this uh, the actual controller is uh, on the vibration pad that uh, is supposed to dampen the vibration that comes from the props. And uh, this is normal practice with the IPM controllers. Uh, then uh, uh, you can see we're using this. Uh, well, it's a pretty cheap setup for the gimbal. Well, the gimbal you can get from Banggood for around about 66 uh, or Australian dollars. There's also a uh, UBEC uh, down there that's supposed to reduce the voltage down to 12 volt because this is a 4S system. And now you can also see that the actual battery uh, sits on a tray. This is a carbon fiber tray underneath. Well, I've connected it just with the cable ties at the moment. What you can also see here is uh, the sonar. Uh, so the sonar is wired back to the flight controller. And uh, yet another cable coming from the receiver and it's uh, uh, bringing over the um, RSSI signal from uh, the receiver. Now uh, I've also extended the standoffs so that the original cover that comes with the quantum uh, XJ470 uh, can fit on top.